Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. And we're going to be talking about a long snapper, um, Wes Fansworth, who was signed with the New England Patriots. And this signing is meant to add more depth. We know Bill Belichick, he values special teams a lot. He understands, um, and a lot of the great coaches out there, you know, they understand how important special teams is, you know. And if you want to help set up your kicker for success, it helps to have a good long snapper. That is for sure. And so obviously they have Joe Cardono, who's already the long snapper for the um, Patriots, but this is meant to add more depth. Obviously with camp, they've got three place kickers on the roster. Um, Nick Foles, who's obviously going to continue to be the kicker uh, moving forward. Uh, and then you have Roberto um, Agreo, who's, um, you know, he has not lived up to the hype at all since he's been um, drafted out of Florida State. But with that being said, obviously, you know, this is another opportunity to get a good look at him because you never know. That's something the Patriots, you know, learned a couple seasons ago. You never know when you need to call on another kicker to come in. So it's good to see where these kickers are in their progression. And also um, Quinn Norton as well. And so, um, yeah, they've got three place kickers right now and um, two long snappers to go with that now. So it makes sense, obviously, you know, to bring Wes in. And, and Bill Belichick has a unique, unique way of bringing in, you know, talent. Sometimes these guys come from, and you're like, oh, wow, I've never heard of this guy before. And But they actually, you know, there's a reason why he's bringing them in. There's something that he sees. And so I always say, you know, trust in Bill. You know, um, he knows what he's doing, especially when it comes to the special teams and defense in particular, or offensive line on the offense. He does pretty good with that as well. And so, but with all that being said, though, Obviously, this name's not going to stand out the most in terms of, you know, the most intriguing signing that they've had, but it definitely is still important nonetheless, you know, to make sure that your long staff position is taken care of and secure. So a little bit more about Wes in terms of just obviously throughout his time um, that he's been in the league, he has played for the Dolphins and the Broncos, but it's important to note that he has not actually stepped into a regular season NFL game yet. And so um, definitely this is going to be an opportunity for him to continue to go in, develop, you know, his um, skills. And to really just you want to just get in front of some coaches and show them what you can do and hope for, you know, a break at some point that you get, you know, a chance to make the roster, honestly, especially at the long snapper position. Yeah, that's that's um, really an uphill battle, but it's definitely one that I'm sure he's embracing. Um, the Patriots, you know, they have 89 of their 90 players you know for our 90 man roster um with this move now um they had um two well they have two spots left um on the roster because when patrick chung retires that will open up another spot um jacob jacob um johnson you know because he's an exemption on a roster spot via the international pathway program that does not count against the patriots roster spot so they can add another player um soon and so and knowing Bill Belichick, that'll be probably very soon. So we'll see, you know, who they have in mind for that. But um, with that being said, though, going back to Wes, he's six foot one, 240 pounds out of Nevada. And so um, obviously he spent some time, you know, on um, practice squads, you know, um, getting ready, you know, with the Dolphins, Broncos. Um, but prior to all of that, when he was at Nevada or even before his time at Nevada, just to give you a little background about Wes, um, so a little bit about him. When he was coming out of college, he did actually have a good amount of interest shown in him. Um, he received interest from Ohio State, Nebraska, Washington, California, Washington State, and Oregon State. These are some big, you know, schools. And so but he chose Nevada because he's a very, very big on family. And so that he, they gave him that family atmosphere type of feels. And he um, really liked the academics and coaching staff's beliefs. And so, therefore, that drew him to commit to Nevada. Some of his um, personal hobbies include baseball, traveling, and spending time with friends. And so, and then in high school, um, he was a two-letter winner in um, football under head coach Thomas per Peregrin. I'm um, in a three-year letter winner in baseball, earned a five-star ranking as a long snapper, and was heralded as one of the top long snappers in the nation. And so clearly the guy was, you know, born to long snap, that is for sure. And so um, this just goes to show the type of due diligence that a team like the Patriots did, as I'm sure that Bill Belichick was aware of that. And so obviously, you know, the guy, you know, he's gotten some opportunities, you know, with NFL teams. Obviously he, has, he hasn't gotten in the game, but I mean, there's only with so many long snapper spots. You know, he um, did that successfully with Nevada, which I'll touch on in a minute. But yeah, the guy definitely has um, – been a top long snapper for a long time um, throughout his life. 
Um, and so that being said, he earned a top five spot in the 2014 Rubio long snapping ranking at the Rubio long snapping elite camp ranked first and fastest snap average and second in accuracy. Now that's something that as football fans, we don't really too much, you know, get into the, you know, how fast the snap gets there, but those are some stuff that you don't notice it unless you are on the field, particularly probably, you know, the person holding down the kick or actually the kicker itself, you know, but stuff like that, you know, makes a difference because if you know that your long snapper gives the ball to you quicker and as a kicker, you're able to get your kick off without, having guys diving at your legs and stuff or giving defenses time to actually get in the backfield. That stuff makes a difference, but that stuff that, you know, goes unnoticed. And so that's important to point that out there. And so um, he also was, let's see, he was a 2013 um, special teams MVP award. He won that. And so, um, yeah, just um, very, very great. He also won an all an RGJ All North Division One honoree in baseball as a pitcher. So he can also pitch the ball, which would explain the speed that he's able to put when he's putting some zip on the ball when he's snapping it. So that bodes well for him. And now we're going to talk a little bit about his um, collegiate days. You know, as a freshman in 2015, played in all 13 games of the regular season um, as Nevada starting long snapper, um, helped junior kicker. Brett Zuzu connect on 17 of 19 field goals and 38 of 40 extra points and helped junior punter Alex Boy average 42 um, yards per punt, one of three true freshmen to see playing time that year. Um, and then in 2016, as a sophomore, he saw time in all 12 games of the regular season as Nevada starting long snapper, um, snap to place kicker, um, duo of both Brett Zuzu again and this time Spencer Petit, who combined to connect on 11 of 17 field goals and 34 of 36 extra points. And he snapped the senior punter Alex Boy, who averaged 43.7 yards per punt that time, which was 23rd best in the nation. Now, as a junior, he was the first team preseason all A all MW by Phil Steen. Still, I'm sorry, by Phil Steel. Um, and one of the top long snappers in the Mountain West wrapped up his third year in the team by seeing action in all 12 games, snapped to um, Spencer Petit, who went 11, 8 of 11 in field goals and a new um, long of 47 yards. And so this just, you know, goes to show, obviously that resume is continuing to build with his success at, you know, snapping um, throughout his collegiate career. And then in 2018, as a senior for Nevada, one of the top long snappers in the Mountain West in 2018, snapped to place kicker Ramiz Amid, um, and who finished 15 of 20 in field goals on a season, also snapped to punter Quentin Conaway, who posted career high 43.6 yards per punt and named to the preseason All-American West first team by Phil Steele um, and ranked Far, he, he ranked Far, Farnsworth as the fourth best long snapper in the nation um, and served as a team captain for the 2018 season and was given the captain's award by the team at the end of the year, a member of Nevada's 2018 Arizona Bowl victory team. So that's a very accomplished career for a long snapper, if I do say so myself. And so that just goes to show the potential that this guy really has. And so obviously the Patriots will get a close look at that and they'll, um, you know, determine from there how they want to move forward. But this is a great opportunity for Wes to um, try to impress the Patriots. And we'll see how that works out. I'm definitely excited for him and looking forward to seeing what he can do. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.